No way. Are you serious right now? Hey guys, my name is Missy, and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure, and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved, and I am back with another picking video for you guys today. I am back at the Goodwill bins, yes, for another treasure hunt. So let's get in our butts in there and see what we can find today. It's a gloomy day. We had tornadoes over the weekend, and, and it's just still gloomy and it's supposed to rain later. It's been a while since I've been here, so I don't know. It looks like they just brought out clothes. I'm gonna do what I always do and look at the glass, because I never know. I'll have to see if they brought it out today or not. Shells and stones, don't want none of that, don't want no chain, definitely. Uh, don't want none of that, none of that, none of that, none of that. <laughs> It's a pretty dish. Mm. It's quiet in here today. I imagine it'll get busy here after that. I'm being a little picky today, like pickier than normal because it's flea market week. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. Santa Claus. a glass fish. I'll get the glass fish. I'll stick that in my, I like fused glass. I'll stick that in my cart. That's just a bookend or something. It's really heavy. Hey, Omar, how are you? Little collection of Santas. They look newer. But... Little people with no faces. Big giant glass tray, sewing stuff. Just random stuff. Told you guys I'm being super picky today because Flea Market Week. The 
That's adorable. That'll go into a treasure bag. I can't leave that behind because it's just kitschy and I like the kitschy, the kitschy look. I don't really care for those ones very much. It's, no. It's a gobel. That'll go into a treasure bag. What else is in there? Can't get it out, little plastic things. Oh, look, it's Jiminy. I'll just leave that in the box for now. That way I don't lose little miniature Jiminy Cricket in there. glass plate. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that one. Oh I like him. He's supposed to go on a body. He just came unattached right there. I like him. I'm getting him. <laughs> Cause he's weird. Yes, I like him. All right, let's go look at the hard. All right, they're taking away these hard goods. They're gonna bring out some new hard goods for us to look in. Hopefully there'll be some good vintage treasures. Okay, here's what rolled out in front of me. Nothing that I want, nothing. <laughs> but we're gonna dig and I'll show you guys what I find. As soon as they say go. I don't want them. You, you take them. <laughs> you take those. All right, guys, I'm gonna dig. Okay, well, I didn't get a whole lot out of those new bins, just what you see me pick up this boxes of cards. That's about it. It's brand new, never opened. That would be really, really neat if somebody took the time to do that. I'm gonna stick that in my cart for now. We'll see. We'll see about that. It's a really nice Vera Bradley. go in my car. There's another one. Maybe I'll lot them both up together and sell them in a lot if I can get it unattached from 
whatever it's attached to. This. Oh my goodness, how am I gonna get that? There we go. There we go. Two Vera's. We have this. It's to feed your squirrels. It's a nice cutting board with grippers. The curse of the campfire weenies. <laughs> this is cute. It's really, really, really dirty. Really sticky, sticky, sticky. They're getting ready to bring out soft bins. You guys, look what was just laying on top of this old bin that they're getting ready to take away. This is very old. And this will be coming home with me. So now I gotta look in this bin to make sure that there's nothing else in here. Real quick before they take it away. are kind of cool. I'm going to unwrap those and take those. It's adorable. From 2008. I'll put that in a treasure bag. Because it's just so cute. It's new in this package. Treasure bag it. Japan scarf. I'll put that in a scarf lot or linen lot or one of the two. Oh, this one's really rough. This one has to stay behind. It's all snagged up. Love stinks. Look what I just found laying in the hard goods. Hanky. Vintage. Hanky. Cool, cool. I found another one in the in the soft goods. Only one. And I found one pillowcase too. One embroidered pillowcase. Look, there's another one. I'm so glad I looked in these bins before they took them away. It's a nice coaster set. It's really heavy. There's another hanky.
He's adorable. Togo in a treasure bag. $19.95. Made in China. Well, I mean, some stuff from Made in China, you know, can be okay, but I don't know. We'll, I'll stick him in there and we'll see. We'll look, see if that brings anything good. Something like smells like a skunk in here. It's weird. It smells weird. Like an actual skunk. I found some vintage stockings in here. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So cute. So let's see if there's more back here. Mary and John. Those ones, I mean, they're not as kitschy and cute as the other one. Whoa, what was that? Something made like a cow noise in here or something. I found more hankies. I keep finding lots of hankies in this bin that I'm in right now. Tons of hankies. See? I just keep finding them. That's a cool pin, vintage pin. I'm gonna put that in a treasure bag. Monster Jam. Lowe's. Build and Grill. I don't know what type of patch. I don't know what type of patches those are. There's another bracelet. These are like bingo things, I think. Like when you play bingo. Cool, look at this embroidered quilt that I just got out of the soft bins. Love it. Got embroidered kitty cats on there. Look at the hunting Santa. He's got antlers and a shotgun. He's going hunting, or already did. No way. Are you serious right now? Oh my God, I'm the happiest girl in the world. Yes, it's a no-brainer, no-brainer. And it was in the old bins. Nobody wanted it. I'll take it. Cute. Here they come with new bins. I wonder what's in that box. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm going to see what's in this box right here. Let's see what's in that box. 
look what I just found. It needs cleaned up. It's missing its back, but Luke's is missing his back too. Luke has a green one. I'm gonna take it. It doesn't weigh hardly anything just to see if it works. And then look, a battle troll. Sweet. Okay, guys, I've been here for a while. Now I gotta go pick up kids from school, so it's time to check out. But I gotta, I've got some really cool things in here. I'm pretty excited about today's haul. So let's go check out and get right into the haul. Okay, we made it out of there and we ended up spending a total of $26. Um, not too bad for everything I got. My sack is super heavy, so I'm pretty excited to show you guys this haul. So for $26, I think I did okay. Okay, so I picked up three different Vera Bradley purses. These are really cute for summer and springtime. I love the colors. Very, very fun. So there's this one. It's a crossbody. This one. Another crossbody. And then this one is a shoulder bag. Or you could do the strap and make it a crossbody. But they're all really, really nice. Zippers work great. Love the colors. All in fabulous condition. So I'm just going to sell them as a lot. A, a lot of three Vera Bradley purses. And then I picked up this cute metal chicken. It's made out of metal, all of it. I love the colors, really pretty for like your rock garden outside or a mulch garden, super cool. Or you can keep it inside, Eat whatever you want. <laughs> and then this is a no brainer. I always, always, always pick up these padded envelopes when they are new because I use them a lot and they're expensive in the store. I found two decks of Pokemon cards. They're completely full. I know people are really into these Pokemon cards and stuff like that. Here, let me take one of them out. So, so there's like a whole, a whole bunch of these. See, tons. Two decks of Pokemons. put those away a second <laughs> okay then I picked up a really cute ring holder love it love the colors the blue and the silver on there the bling bling very pretty to hold your rings it's made out of metal this really cute box of little um cards. Little greeting cards. There's all kinds of different ones in there and envelopes and stuff. So I liked the little box. I just think it's adorbs. Look at that little boy. So cute, right? And I picked up a whole nativity set. I picked these up. I did a little Google image search and they actually sell for quite a bit of money. Um, there's the whole set in here, all 11 pieces. So there's that one. And even baby Jesus is in there somewhere. See, they're cute. So I like those little resin nativity set. These are so fun. These are in my thumbnail. I love these glasses so much. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep them or sell them, but yeah, they're fabulous. Bling, bling, cat eye. Super cool, right? I love them. And, oh, this guy, he's fun. He's old. He's really old. I did find some vintage Christmas. A little snowman. He's marked on the bottom. Made in Japan on his little cardboard bottom. But isn't he cute? Vintage snowman. I found another vintage Christmas piece. Well, my friend Christine actually found it. This is a vintage candy box. A candy container. It's Santa. He's old. He's in good shape. So I thought that was really, really fun. Excited to pick up that piece. I love vintage Christmas. I really, really, really do. So I just find it kitschy and fun. 
Um, and speaking of vintage Christmas, this was my favorite, favorite, favorite thing that I found today. I love him. He does have a little mark right there on his face, but I don't care. Isn't he the cutest Santa in the Goodwill bins? Yes. It made my day. I was so happy. He's kind of creepy looking, but he's so awesome. So awesome. So, so glad I found the Mr. Santa Claus. And then I also found some Halloween. Now, I need to re-glue this head back on there because the head has came off. But, um, here, let me show you what it looks like. Oh, I couldn't leave it behind. It's like one of those resin figurines. I love it. It's just like kitschy Halloween. And I love kitschy. And... He's a goober guy. <laughs> it's so fun, right? I love it. And more vintage Christmas. I did pick up this um, stocking, this vintage stocking. There was a couple other ones there, but they were just sort of plain looking to me. I like this one. It's more blinged out and kitschy and fun. And it's Anne's stocking. So fun. More vintage Christmas. This cute little plastic blow mold made in Hong Kong type thing. It's so cute. It's like a plastic tree, you hang it up. I loved it. I did find a battle troll. These are from the 90s. I think I have another one downstairs. I'm going to have to go look. And if I do, then I will lot them up in my next live sale together. Yeah, these are from the 90s. 1992. It's marked on this bottom foot. 1992. I did find tons and tons and tons of hankies. Like a whole bunch of hankies. And look at, there's even some little kids ones. These are adorable. Aren't they cute? So there's, I mean, there's tons of hankies. I found vintage scarves, a whole bunch of vintage scarves. I'm going to have to go through them. And then in the treasure bag, I'll show you. I have more stuff too. This is the next thing, treasure bag. So cute little ceramic mouse. Little vintage Santa. He's flocked. He's a little bit rough, but he's still super cute. I love Iowa. Needlepoint. Cute little wooden kitty cat. This little new in package. Wooly. I don't know what it is. Some sort of animal. A thing of pearls. Now these are heavy. These are heavier than the fake pearls, so what if they were real? That would be awesome. School of Fish. Little ornament bus. I love that. These two bracelets. Now these, they're weird looking, right? They do have wear. But I like them, so I figured treasure bag it. This is adorbs. This cute little bee. A couple more vintage bracelets. Little golden book. This vintage pin. This little necklace coin purse type thing. It's all beaded. See, that's all beaded. Even the... The other parts beaded, and then you could stick things in there. So I thought that was fun. Uh, another necklace, beaded necklace, cute vintage keychain, some bird patches, they're embroidered. A little gobel figurine. This coin. Uh, 
a miniature Jiminy Cricket. Uh, little miniature thing of hot dogs. These are the mini brands and I was only able to find one. So I'm thinking somebody must have got like the bag. This might have fell out, unfortunately. A coin, a metal coin. And then some game pieces. There's some vintage dice in there, some wooden things. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun treasure bag. Oh, here's the books for the Pokemon cards. Oh, these are fun. A whole stack of these vintage coasters. They are stamped made in the USA. They're like blingy, blingy. Vintage coasters. Like I said, a whole bunch of vintage scarves and hankies. There's tons and tons of different, different ones in here. Hankies, scarves. This is really fun. I did find a vintage um, Valentine's box. This one is an old one and it's like needle pointed. Isn't that cool? Really, really cool. This would be fun to like fill with hankies and stuff, I think. Um, This deer, I need to put batteries in him, but I do know he works because he's got his little thing right here. See, to test him. So he's like a plastic blow mold deer. He's a new one. Um, that takes batteries, but still really kitschy and fun. I love the color, like the light green color, mint green. More hankies and scarves. Tons. I told you I got a lot. <laughs> a glass fish. Oh, I love fused glass and it's, it's a glass fish. So cute. Swim away. I need to test this, but this was a no-brainer. Look, it's dirty. It needs cleaned up big time. But it is a Game Boy Color, a Nintendo Game Boy Color. Missing its back, you know, unfortunately. But why would I not pick it up to test it? Because some people can but replace the backs. Or, you know, some people don't even care about the backs. Vintage Nintendo. Pretty cool. Uh, more hankies. One embroidered pillowcase. Look at it. It's so cute. Let me open it for you here. Just one embroidered pillowcase. They're adorable. They're catching bees. And then the last thing that I picked up was this amazing, beautiful embroidered vintage quilt. It's all kitty cats. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute and adorable. This, and it's in really, really good condition, you guys. So I will lay it out right here and put the size so you can see um, what it looks like all laid out. But it is so fun, so kitschy. Look at those kitty cats. I love it. So that was my haul, guys. Like I said, I only ended up spending $26 for all that stuff. I don't think I did too bad at all. What do you guys think? Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found today out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there's ever anything that you guys are interested in, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is in the description below too. And... I can let you know if I will sell it outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Most everything you see me pick up will be available in my live sales, which I host right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So if you go subscribe right now and hit that bell button, you'll get a notification every time I go live and when I post new videos. Um... And uh, I do have random pop-up live sales throughout the week. So if you don't want to miss those, go subscribe. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking. Bye, guys.